Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hey, what's up? My name is Vanessa. Uh, so as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be doing a review. Ew, okay, review of the Tribe Skincare Loose Minerals Foundation SPF. 15. Um, I got this because I saw Lauren Gertis on her Instagram stories or something and she, you know, tried it out and I thought it looked really good. So I want to show you how I do it on my face. So when you open it, you've got six months to use it. So there's an expiry date like everything, but you know, we tend to ignore that and keep products for five to 10 years. Raise your hand if that's you. <laughs> Recyclable. It is vegan, made in Australia. Well done. Um, cruelty free and 100% natural. So, sometimes you wonder what the hell is it made out of? <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got the color light medium. They had, there wasn't a very wide range, but we'll figure it out. Ingredients. Mica zinc oxide titanium dioxide. That's it. But um, so that's the packaging. It's a bit cute, florally, very like summery. Um, you can buy the kit with um a brush. I got it without. It's with a kabuki brush, which I didn't think about till now. So I'm just gonna use one of my brushes. So I've got these three. Uh, I've got a. I'm gonna try with the Real Techniques brush first. So I always like to tap these things down. So that's what it looks like. It's already got product. Oh, uh, okay. So you can twist it to like close it, but for some reason I don't think it was fully closed, and there's already product in there, which I kind of appreciate because then you only take out what you need. So I'm going to put it into the lid, like color looks promising. So I'm going to go in with this really disgusting Real Techniques uh, Duo Fiber Brush. I like this because it's quite soft. It's not very dense like a Kabuki brush. So I'm just going to... Um, oh, and skin type. I have very dry skin. I've only got suns or skincare and sunscreen on my face. I've got my brows done and I've got eyelash extensions. So just FYI. So color looks pretty good. I'm just going to grab a mirror. I'll be honest, I look like I've put nothing on. Have I? It could be the brush is too, not dense enough. So I'm just going to try with a buffer brush from Zoeva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need, you need a, like a brush that's a little bit more dense so i i don't know what that is pimple or something so it's not covering it up so it's quite lightweight so i am using natural light I do like the color. I feel like, yeah, like the color match was good. Um, I took a guess in the coloring, so. All right, so it's really, it's really lightweight. That's for sure. If you have like acne or anything, um, like I said, I think a concealer would be best to, cause I, I, I don't have, like I used to, but I don't have bad skin. So I, I'm more than happy to not wear foundation when I wear makeup. But I just wanted something just for the sake of trying, let's be real. Um, but that actually looks quite natural. And I'm just going to go with the lighter brush here. 
like you can still see my skin like that I don't mind if you can see you know imperfections that doesn't actually bother me so much as it used to like it's a bit more natural looking it's lightweight that's for sure like very very lightweight the shipping um i think it took only a couple of days for it to be shipped out i'm so okay so the company's called tribe skincare to be exact um and they have different products they have bundles like they've got stuff for like oily combo breakouts uh normal to dry redness skin so pricing's not too over the top like They've got trial sizes. So you can get the trial. There's a trial. Um, it's like $9 Australian dollars. Um, and it's got free express sh shipping. So you might as well give it a go. If you're not, if you're not hundred percent sure, because that's the thing. Sometimes you buy products and you use it once and you don't like it. And here in Australia, you can't really return, <laughs> return the stuff. Like in Sephora in America, I find people like buy a foundation, it's the wrong color and they go return it. You can't do that here, which is weird, but Oh, free, sorry, it's free express shipping on over $29. It's true, it did arrive quite fast. Foundation, 15 grams, which liquid foundation is 30 mils. So, like, like let's just use this one. So, I, I mean, it's lightweight. So, um, so it's normally $65. I, I think that's quite expensive, but you've got to take into consideration it's actually made in Australia. It's vegan. It's, it's everything free. So you've got to take that into consideration. But I ended up having a discount code, not a personal one. I just found one. Or was it through Lauren Curtis? I can't remember. So, I mean, you can probably find something. If I do find a discount code, um, I'll leave it down below. Or if you have like a uh like what's it called karma extension where or honey extension they are able to find you discount so give them a go but yeah like i actually really like it like i said it's very very lightweight so if you need something more full coverage this product i don't think is for you or if you have bad skin but you still want to you know, use like a mineral uh, foundation because it is quite soft. I would recommend using concealers on your acne scarring, acne pigmentation, whatever is happening on your skin. Uh, I use the Born This Way multi-use multi sculpting concealer, um, which I find is really thick. So if you have like a really stubborn pimple or something or a lot of redness, try that one. And I also like to use, because this is a little... It's still heavy, but it's not as heavy as that. I like to use the um, NARS Cream Brulee Light 2.5 Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So I like this one. Um, it's a little bit pinky, so it, it, it works. So that's what I would recommend. But... Um, if anybody else has tried the product, have different skin type to me, I have dry skin. Leave all your comments down below because it helps other people. Um, but yeah, like it looks, it looks good. What do you guys think? Um, do you reckon it's worth the 65 bucks? Like, I don't know. I like it's like I said I like it the fact that it's Australian made and everything but sometimes it's like it, it. I'm gonna have to give it a couple of goes should I put makeup on I mean I do have makeup on but like should I put more makeup on you know what I'm just gonna put a bit of bronzer on and blush and see how everything blends So I just did like a really soft 
very soft uh, makeup, which is what I've been really liking right now. So I didn't even put highlighter on. Hang on, hang on, you're gonna need highlighter. Products went on really nicely, really easy. I didn't like do too much, so I really appreciate it. So what do you guys think? If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these types of videos, please let me know. I like to review products and let you guys know how I feel about them and <laughs> whatnot. So yeah, if you enjoy it, let me know. And I'll see you guys in my next video.